Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K., and this is the week of July 8, 2019 reading. In addition to the messages, I'm going to also ask for spiritual guidance regarding the current Mercury retrograde, which is going to go on into and through the next three weeks. Of course, we're just going to cover the energies that will be available for whichever Scorpio I'm reading for during this general reading so that spirit can guide them in their highest best good, please. During the week of July 8th, 2019, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels. Okay, so on the bottom of the first Lenormand deck, we have a soulmate connection, circumstance, situation. <clears throat> Somebody has gone through an experience with a soulmate. And now they're wanting to roll the dice and take a risk when it comes to a new direction. This particular Scorp uh, Sagittarius, pardon me, is uh, trying to... Decide on a new path, a new direction. Should I or shouldn't I? After going through a very spiritual process with a soulmate. Maybe a difficult path or a connection with someone that left them feeling a little bit trapped or stuck. The Scorpio is trying to... Scorpio. Okay, Sag, if you have Scorpio in your chart or you're dealing with a Scorpio, this could very well be your reading. Yes, there's a desire to text, talk, tweet for the Sagittarius when it comes to a new path, a new chapter in their life. But they're anxious when it comes to gossip, when it comes to community, society, social media. This Sagittarius is wanting to move away from or make changes to the home environment, maybe to move to a new home or business situation or circumstance. There is a little bit of fear here regarding... A business or organization during this week and in the middle of the Lenormand deck we have confusion but with this card the Sun is starting to come out this Sagittarius is starting to recognize how far they have come or they're going to be receiving clarity from someone who is in a leadership position now we do have the clover energies which means a lucky karmic path but the energies of burden wanting to move into a karmic lucky path better higher paying position i feel like it could be during this week that the sagittarius is receiving kind words and messages they're feeling really good about themselves they are rising above to a higher level of pay and then are going to think about traveling or moving into a new direction, into a commitment, partnership, or a contract. Okay. Yeah, trying to find more information, wanting to meet up and negotiate with others, wanting to sweep away almost from their current stability and security, feeling fearful when it comes to business or organization, But they're recognizing new opportunities, new directions. This Sagittarius wants to roll the dice and take a risk because they think a situation is meant to be. For some Sagittariuses, in the five-card spread, in the center of the five-card spread, this week is being represented by some form of passionate masculine here. Either this is you or the person you're thinking of. In the beginning of the week, around July 8th or 9th of 2019, the Sagittarius is thinking about the obstacles. They've been down a long and difficult path and now are hoping that they can make their wishes come true when it comes to a passionate masculine or something that this person is passionate about. By the end of the week, going into the weekend, there could be kind words, messages, flowers, gifts, and or a reason to celebrate. And I feel like the Sagittarius is feeling good about the offer. <clears throat> Pardon me, but they're still indecisive by the weekend. Now, the second Lenormand deck on the bottom has the cross. Again, we have some form of burden when it comes to the path energy. Which direction should I go in? Which path is the right one for me? <clears throat> Is this person in a leadership position going to give me what I want? And then boom, <clears throat> out comes this passionate masculine, or um, this masculine well-dressed energy. Could be a boss, could be a leader, 
could be yourself, shining like the sun, feeling good. You now have the key to success when it comes to some playful energy by midweek, Sag, because wishes are coming true and old situations are ending. In the middle of the second one, Norman Deck, we have texting, talking, tweeting, communication coming quickly towards Sagittarius with from another, some form of message or communication whereby there are researching some form of travel or physically moving, sweeping away from an unhealthy situation or people, sweeping away from your fears regarding your stability. So by the end of the week into the weekend, we do have a lucky karmic person place circumstance situation that's going to I think be good for this Sag there is a good offer coming I don't know if you're going to get exactly what you wanted Sag but you may get something I see commitment, partnership, or contract when it comes to home or business, bringing an end maybe to a business or organization for some during that week. Wishes coming true and the key to bring an end to one home environment and to move into a better home environment, to bring an end to a commitment or partnership and to move into a better one, making your wishes come true. You have the key to success to making wishes come true during this week, whichever Sagittarius this is. So when I combine the cards, we've got the 8th or 9th of July, 2019 for this particular Sagittarius during this general reading. And thank you to those of you who let me know these are your messages. We've got somebody obtaining wisdom about some form of obstacles, about someone or something at a distance, about a long and difficult path they've been through. Finally receiving some form of communication or paperwork and starting to recognize that their wishes are coming true after dealing with some form of obstacles. So by Wednesday, I think even by Tuesday of, so that'd be the ninth, um, some form of communication is coming in in the form of paperwork where this Sagittarius is going to see that their wishes are finally coming true. Uh, this Sagittarius is either thinking of this passionate masculine or they are thinking, seeing themselves as a passionate masculine, hoping or recognizing the devotion of another. By Thursday, Friday, we have a Sag who's thinking of kind words, messages, flowers, or gifts, and the long-term path ahead. A reason maybe to celebrate. And then feeling a little bit anxious and unsure. Wow. So, this Sag, to sum it up, is starting out the week thinking about a long and difficult path, wanting to know more information about some form of obstacles, obtaining more wisdom as they meet and negotiate with others in hopes that their wishes can come true. Some form of communication comes towards uh, the Sagittarius during that week. And um, this connection, I feel, is meant to be. This offer, this opportunity, this wish, this paperwork is uh, something that makes the Sagittarius get very passionate and excited about devoting themselves to the path ahead, their long-term future. They're recognizing kind words and messages or they're wanting to or are hoping for a reason to celebrate, taking some form of hope, wish, or prayer and planning the future, but feeling a little bit anxious. Let's see why. So I'm going to bring in the uh, Tarot of Dreams. No, Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason. And I'm doing a circle spread to clarify and to bring in spiritual guidance regarding the Mercury retrograde. So in the center of the circle spread, we have the energies representing the 8th and 9th of July, 2019. Monday, Tuesday, you have the Ace of Swords. It's time to cut away from anything that does not serve you any longer and to move into the path of victory. So what is it you're hoping, wishing, and praying for? Lay down your sword with the Page of Swords energies and take some time to think things through. As you may be receiving some form of paperwork, a new beginning, a new direction. As you apply your intellect, as you think things through, 
when it comes to some form of paperwork or communication. By Tuesday, July 9th, 2019. So by Wednesday, Thursday, in relation to other people, we have a bounty. We have coming together with a group of people to celebrate financial success. A new opportunity, a new beginning, a new path. And creatively, with the Knight of Discs energies, slowly but surely thinking things through about how you are going to take action with the Eight of Discs energies to research your skills. What have I learned? How far have I come? Look at that. Emotionally recognizing by the end of the week, into the weekend with the high priest energies. Um, the next chapter of your life. As you think things through, as you come together with others and recognize a bounty, recognizing that your wishes are coming true, recognizing how far you have come and some kind words and messages or positive communication has come your way. Look at subconsciously, this Sagittarius is going to be coming to a peaceful res resolution and celebrate this bounty, this new direction, this victory, a new beginning. So day to day, you're being asked, Sag, to ground yourself as things may kind of be all over the place. Things are happening for you, but they're just happening a little bit slowly with the night of discs. In your inner strengths position, you have recovery. So there was a path that is ending when it comes to home, business, creativity, finances, career. Your intellect is going to help you to cut away from what didn't help you to move forward. And now as you take action to apply your skills to research the future, you are now going to be able to ground yourself and create a new chapter through others. So in a three-card summary to my right, we've got a, a Sag that was dealing with the energies of regret. And now you're being asked to let go of what didn't fulfill you. Look forward to what can be. There's emotional stability here building for the Sagittarius. You may be thinking of someone who is older, who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or you're going to be using the King of Cups energy, Sag, to really listen to your intuition, to take some time out to rest, to think about the battles and the experiences and the difficulties of the path before now. We have a Sag who may be feeling just really restricted when it comes to career and finance. But then look at wishes are coming true. By Tuesday or Wednesday, an offer or opportunity is going to come your way. But there's indecision. There's opposition. Inner opposition. Should I continue to put my energy into a situation? And Spirit's saying, you're going to feel very adventurous by Thursday. You're going to know what you're thinking of, what you want to celebrate. You're going to bring a completion to a path that was and move into the portal of a brand new beginning. A very harmonious beginning. And the high priestess is going to start to give you signs that are going to help you to recognize that you are no longer stuck in a difficult situation. That you can now free yourself to move forward. To manifest the new. Now, by the weekend, we do have a realization with the tower. Somebody in a leadership position uh, may come towards you to tell you you're going to go into a better paying position, maybe a managerial or supervisor position. I think this is a bit unexpected. 
like in the beginning of the week, there's more thinking. And then there's all of a sudden this communication with others and you're coming to a peaceful resolution that you want to move ahead, but you're being asked to ground yourself and to continue to use your skills to understand that the path of your path in career and finance or home, it is all coming to a close with the nine of wands. You have the strength to now recover from what was and to start a new chapter. So ground yourself and wait. Good things are coming. Look at Spirit wants to give you by the weekend an exciting new direction, something you can get passionate about when it comes to career, creativity, finances, or a passionate connection with another, whereby you can start to manifest a solid foundation when it comes to home and business. You maybe didn't think something was going to work out. Yeah, wow. So some are going to be abandoning a foundation that doesn't serve them, an old location of sorts, and are moving into the path of a happily ever after, the new chapter, letting go of what doesn't serve you emotionally anymore. And there's, that's where the anxiety comes in. Wishes are coming in. You're thinking about your long-term future. You are recovering from what was. You're moving into the path of victory. You're getting passionate and excited about that towards the weekend. And then there's a little bit of anxiety, like, oh my gosh, where do we go next? Should I or shouldn't I roll the dice and take a risk to step into this new exciting chapter and celebrate this bounty, this victory, this happily ever after, this emotional reward at the end of a tunnel, at the end of a journey? Wow. So if these messages should resonate and you want to know more, feel free to come to me for a personal reading. Just email me at josiek42 at gmail.com. My price list will be in the box below. And I am still offering the summer special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. I'm going to be closing with one card from the Sacred Rebels deck by Alana Fairchild. And you guys have the spirals of manifestation. So recognizing old patterns, cycles, behaviors of yours or another, and now realizing that that path has ended. One plus eight with the number 18 is nine. Nine is about endings and exciting new beginnings. So you are being blessed with the energies of the spirals of manifestation. What is the next chapter going to be like? It is now time to give birth to new things and to know that they will be guarded vigilantly. So a conscience connection with others. Diving toward the light together is going to bring about collaborative dreaming <clears throat> of what you want to manifest now going into the future. Hold on a second. All right. So this card means don't worry about the future. Relax and deal with the here and now this week. You will attract what it is that you want and what it is that you need. The creative rebellious path of love moves in spirals. It is not linear. Sometimes our mind decides that the way forward is to take clear steps from one point to the next logical point. However, there is a genius within that can guide us on an alternative route. You are in the midst of a spiral manifestation. Something is coming into being, even if you think it is further away than ever before. How amazing it will seem when you have what you have been dreaming of and it falls into place. In truth, it was coming to you all along. <clears throat> so all those previous worries and concerns are going to dissipate in a new victorious path in connection to others and some form of communication is going to bring you into a path of victory by the weekend in the area of your skills and forward movement, grounding yourself and recovering from what was and finally coming to a peaceful resolution. And I just saw after the storm. So you're really going to see something ending, new wishes coming true and victory on <clears throat> after recovering from what could have been long and difficult all right so again if you'd like a personal reading i'm, I'm available at my email 
which is josiek42 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and or subscribe. Thank you so very much to those of you whom have donated. Take care and God bless.